Okay, this is a very intimidating uh, issue for me because I came from the direction of the city uh, in exactly the same way as I was uh, delivered by the psychiatrist Peter Kops police inside of the vehicle repeatedly. Uh, they gestured me on how they will see how I will react to this light here. It's very intimidating because they had played with a uh, closed road here already before when they were doing the construction and then what they would do is they would put exactly the way you see it right there so when you come with a car and you see the light like this it kind of reminds of what we have gone through before except that there was also lights on the other side of the road but when you come with a car you don't see anything you pretty much see it You pretty much see it exactly the way, like this, you see it. You don't see nothing behind the corner. And so I asked them, what is this about? What is this about? And they went on to suggest uh, that they don't know. But they were asking me, we're going to see how you are going to react to this. Yeah, what you see right there is uh, road closure. This is what went on entire summer long. Uh, they closed the road like this, uh, placed the semaphore lights, and uh, you were subject to a traffic signs, special traffic signs. Uh, road closure due to construction uh, went on entire summer practically. And this was not what went on for the first time. Um, this was one of the subjects during MK Ultra used for a traffic brainwash, for a traffic misinformation, um, even misinformation, I'm going to say, mainly for driving me crazy uh, inside of the car, inside of the police cars, inside of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch cars, uh, inside of the uh, other people's cars. Exactly what you see right there with me sitting inside of the cars with the police officers, me sitting inside of the cars from random people with the police director, Jana Zogolin, me sitting inside of the cars with psychiatrist cops, me sitting inside of the car, even with the Robert Golob, that's a Slovenian prime minister. Yeah, we're going to come to this stuff. The construction you see right there, it becomes evident that's something that went on throughout my departure to United States of America in 1995 from where I was repeatedly hijacked to Slovenia. I think one construction that you see right there, uh, you don't see it. Uh, it used to be in this portion of the road. Uh, took place sometimes, <laughs> I don't know. Shit went on here all the time. Um, a construction in this, in this part of the road went on here all the time. I think even in 1988, something like this, uh, and it was in 1994, in 19, it definitely was in 1998. In 1998 is where the big construction here went on. And this construction dragged on for about like almost two years. Um, when, I see, when I say construction, uh, it will be a construction. But more than construction, they would repeatedly cause road closures. I did not express myself properly and said construction. Uh, they would cause a road closure. Now, I will, a road closure randomly, whenever I would be hijacked from United States of America, uh, not always that they would do this because I was frequently hijacked from United States of America. Keep in mind, I was not in Europe anywhere in the world for matter of fact officially or 
that I would exit the United States of America between 1995 and August of 2006, with exception to Ecuador, where my wife is from, like on three occasions, uh, and or maybe two occasions, I don't know. And one time I passed to Mexico through Laredo just for hiking trip and return back immediately. I never did. That's 11 and a half years of my staying strictly inside of United States of America. Well, the thing is that Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, and Federal Bureau of Investigations, they ungoingly hijacked me to Slovenia to accommodate best of their abilities Milan Kuchan, Putin, Putin, Serbian Chetniks and so on with whom they had engaged in international politics behind the curtain, let's say. Uh, and so what you see right there is something that was that went on ungoingly and it was something that was used ungoingly to drive me insane driving me insane in this portion of the road technically started sometimes in 1986 i think even in 1986 they started to drive me insane in this portion of the road with what you <clears throat> with uh not with what you see right there uh but it all first started with during mk ultra suggesting me do you do you see the construction they're doing the construction like, give me my fucking updates about what's going on in the area during mk ultra so that i would have something to report about which a report about would take me to inside of the psychiatric hospital in yugoslavia it was yugoslavia back then it made no fucking sense. Uh, that's why it didn't make any fucking sense for me to report after Yugoslavia because it was the same people as during Yugoslavia that would that worked on getting me killed, that worked on getting me destroyed. You know. Uh, so what sense does it make that dealing with the same people? upon Slovenian what should be otherwise considered as independence and freedom. What sense would it make to go out there and talk about these things? It would result most likely in the same thing. It definitely, in my case, would result in the same thing. I had a family members involved in MK Ultra who threatened me, consider me as mentally ill during MK Ultra, and threatened me with just try with all the neighbors, with all the people from the village, with everybody from the city, with everybody from the country, same attitude. So one thing is American attitude, one thing is whatever attitude. And I don't think that in the United States, it's much different anyways. Uh, and something completely different is what went on throughout my life. It made no sense. Even today, uh, Clearly, the behavior of Central Intelligence Agency, clearly the behavior of Federal Bureau of Investigation, and I'm doing this on September the 12th of 2024, matches what I suggested earlier for Yugoslavia. You wouldn't have behavior like this with somebody you have done so much damage. Uh, if you had a normal intentions to assist public with law enforcement you wouldn't act this way i tell you that um i the stuff that you see right there i stated it even affected a, a traffic loss yes it did it affects a traffic loss uh, it affects a perception about a traffic loss because, um, well, you're not paying attention to, you're really not paying attention to um, the 
the issues you otherwise would. And when I say this, I mean through the greatly reduced sleep, that's like number one impact of it, uh, and through the greatly reduced um, concern for surroundings due to so many problems I face, problems that even if I would be investigator, you know, even if I would be acting as a, as a, as a investigator of something, I wouldn't even bother, buggle with. I mean, I'm against the whole fucking world with my case. I was looking forward to presidents that would assist me with this thing and end this crime against me. The thing is, I don't have truly nobody to look up to other than myself. That means to be against the entire world, basically. That means to be the situation I explained about, I'm affected with, pertains to American elections. In 2025, I shouldn't be having nothing to do with. How the fuck we got through this? I mean, I became naturalized citizen of the U.S. in 2000. And through it all, this case started at my age of one year. This shit started, ladies and gentlemen, in 1972. I was born in December in 1971. I, this motherfuckers wasted my entire life. You understand me what I'm saying? I'm thinking about where my life is gone. While being stalked to be stressed with the issues that were used for torture purposes during MK Ultra, all around me with numerous subjects with the police vehicle with the police vehicle stalked, with the ambulance vehicle stalked. And not for being stalked or intimidated or something like that, but literally to bully, to harass, to intimidate, and to dare, to challenge, basically, to challenge, to prove me the point from the people that should be, in fact, already be long ago behind the bars. Like, complete derision, disdain, for hijacking, human trafficking, cardiovascular exhaustion, torture based on sleep deprivation issues refusing one to be assisted medically doing force into the stuff like this with serious medical problems very serious medical problems penniless dimeless basically not for today or yesterday but For the major part of my life without having the right to collect anything from social security uh, from local social services having the right to visit physicians with the paid medicare this is not a normal situation this is not how you investigate stuff this is not how you do this stuff so what you do is, when you go about the stuff, the stuff I do, that really makes, like, <laughs> the crime that police launch against me is successful in 99.99% .99 subjects. When they play with the parents inside of the home for elderly, uh, with intention to harass, to bully them into altercations, what is presented afterwards is the abuse of elderly. Police is almost 100% successful. Not only with the family members that this shit is really personal, that can get really personal to, but even with the carers, with the nurses that get actually paid to take care of elderly. This is under no means normal situation that you would be paying attention to about 
your surroundings as it really makes like the crime that police launch against me is successful in 99.99% .99 subjects if you are going to stop the car here when they okay let me explain something play with the parents uh, inside this of is the a whole brainwash elderly. you just don't do this kind of uh, stuff through MK Ultra with basically have intention a to harass to bully them into altercation the road, the road like this violation. and not fix a little you can be doing this portion thing. of the sidewalk just so that you Tu pošto sam ote kola na redu. Je, spah u bistvu čisto ko bom povedal. Tu je čisto u redu, kar si povedal tam. Tu je čisto u redu, takole klala boš tole tega strička, boš samo takole na redu. V bistvu boš ti tole zadevo, kar tako, ko je tole, je čisto ok. Dajmo. Ja, ja, takole. Gremo naprej. To be stressed with the issues that were used for torture purposes during MK Ultra. All around me, with numerous subjects, with the police vehicle, with the police vehicle stocked, with the ambulance vehicle stocked. Tole boš kar naredil. Ni ti podrazno ne prijedel, poštev. Ni ti pa... To so... Jo, jaz razumem čisto vse, ej. Te ljudje niso razumeli ničesar. Pa tudi ničesar ne bojo razumeli, dokaj in gobca ne razbiješ, pa bojo razumeli. Tu je čisto ok, edino ti jaz to končajo. Je successful in 99.99% subjects. When they play with the parents inside of the home for elderly, uh, with intention to harass, to bully them into altercations, what is presented afterwards is the abuse of elderly. Police is almost 100% successful. No, they play with the parents inside of the home for elderly.
あー with intention to harass to bully them into altercations what is presented afterwards is the of elderly police is almost 100% successful not only with the family members that this shit is really person that can get really personal to but even with the carers with the nurses that get actually paid to take care of elderly this is under no means normal situation that you would be paying attention to about your surroundings as um, at this point in time, it should be clear uh, right here that it should be clear right here that it's about a road construction that that still goes on. You know, uh, as I'm going to walk you through this, it becomes evident that once. your surroundings as um, at this point in um, normal This is not under normal circumstances, ladies and gentlemen. Under normal circumstances, um, more or less, you function in your environment in a such a way that you're watching, observing what's go what goes on, what's new, this and that. Uh, next to the life you live, you go to the work, you go at work, and uh, you, you know, whatever the hell you do, you go shopping or whatever you do. Um, or when you come at whatever location, you create yourself a certain idea about uh, a certain place. And then you have this place uh, stored inside of your head, according to which you compare and act. Uh, in the future, if there are any changes, apply or whatever. But in, this, in, this, in my case, this, this stuff is completely different it's itself the situation is so highly demented uh from the perspective from the point of view that i spent most of my life on a run escape from this shithole known as a slovenia don't worry about it i'm well aware of using term fuckers earlier 
and I'm well aware of using the term shithole, Slovenia. I do it deliberately. Some people call it maybe even brainwash. And, well, I want it to be seen that way because people are taking for granted stuff that doesn't even exist. Most of my life I spent on escape, run from this Slovenian shithole. Whether you like to hear this or you do not, but the violence I'm talking about was so overwhelming that at age 23, was it 23? 23? I immigrated to the US without absolutely anything and it was not because I would want to do so. Even earlier I tried to escape to Austria and each time on my escape to Austria and on my escape to United States of America, literally escape, literally escape. I would not even consider that as a as a, as a normal immigration procedure or anything like this. This was by no fucking means normal. It was under no means normal. I, I was so stressed, I remember, on the ship when I got a job on a Meridian cruise line in a dining room that when I would serve food, when I would interact with the passengers and stuff like this, uh, I was so stressed that... Um, I was just, in a way, I was there, you know, interacting with the people, but my brain was so occupied, so, so, um, congested with with the bullshit I have gone through in Slovenia and where I was and where this stuff is taking me and literally being stalked by the KGB, literally being stalked by the Udba people from Slovenia, literally being even on a cruise ship where I worked, I was hijacked to Slovenia. This shit was fucking insane. I had the people from the Foreign Legion working on a cruise ship, uh, including the Metro D, was a German, also at one point in time worked in the Foreign Legion. And they told me we have not fucking seen anything like this yet. We have not experienced anything like this yet. First of all, the work on, on this cruise line, this ship, it took away from me, it would offer me four hours of maximum per day sleep. That's one thing. The rest of it was running around. Uh, you know, nothing was wrong with me if I get a chance. And when I got a chance, I would sleep 16 hours straight. You understand? It's just the work schedule was like this. And in between this work schedule, I would also disappear to Bosnia. I would disappear to Croatia, to the Serbia, where war raged. On a Balkan fucking, on a Balkan war, in the midst of the Balkan, they said, we, we have not seen anything like this. We don't know it's physically possible to do stuff like this and so on. Um, the life, my life was a fucking chaos. And so... Most of my life, I'd not even spent in Slovenia. Most of my life, I did not spend in Slovenia. Maybe that's even... Those are really the factors that you need to consider when it comes to all this stuff. Uh, please keep in mind, I left Slovenia for the US. Before that, also to Austria. But the same thing, KGB, Udba, follow to Austria and so on, hellhole. Uh, but when in the United States, where I immigrated in 95, at age 23, I wouldn't return till the August of 2006. 
And then again it repeated. In 2008, I again immigrated to the US. From the US, I tried in Canada, filed political asylum. In Belgium, in Germany, again in Austria, uh, ended up in Norway, Sweden. Man, this is this is hectic. This is a fucking chaos. Uh, and afterwards, spent time in Slovenia, eating myself out. Why would not even go out for a walk? Beating a total depression. Not really, because I was always busy, but just trying to get my way out through complaints, through dealing with the, with the United Nations police and so on, uh, trying to find a solution to this madness, MK Ultra madness. I would not even go out. It was like a jail, like you would put me in a jail, basically inside of the room. The only time I would go out, basically, that's the time when I would be taken out for a walking, for a hiking with the police. So the perception about everything was created literally by the police, by the psychiatrists, by the police. Do you understand me? Let's say that you stay inside of your home 24-7. And the only time you go out is when they almost, okay, almost, close to, is when you're being hijacked, trafficked, thrown into MK Ultra procedure. But this was actually my life. All the way to 2012 when I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital. That's how bad this stuff was. So you're talking about hectic. In Novomesta, I was no more. Again, I found myself somewhere in Ljubljana, where I actually did go out for a walk. <laughs> With the psychiatric medications, finally I found the time to go walk. I wasn't sure whether it was even where to be alive anymore. To consider this circumstance, this type of traffic regulations, uh, the signs which police insisted me, even we will see if you know the traffic rules, regulations even, if you still remember them and so on. It got nothing to do with it. He got totally to do with the stuff I have described to you right now. Those are the important factors to consider. The police factors. From within, the situation repeated with my staying indoors, police taking me for the walks and so on, my escaping this Slovenian shithole again. Was it in 2016, 2017 it was? Attempting to board the plane for Moscow. Escape from the European Union. From the NATO. From, from, from a total lunacy. Brussels and Washington DC lunacy. Madness. Treachery. Treason. Literally jumping in the arms of the enemies because of the treason that went on inside of the Brussels, Strasbourg and Washington, D.C. Does it get more mad than this? I did not succeed in escaping from European Union as I attempted to immigrate to Moscow. Because I couldn't board the plane in Warsaw for Moscow. They wouldn't allow me to go to Russia. Russia created own rules, immigration rules. So those prevented me from, as a European Union citizen, as a citizen of the U.S., prevented me from boarding the plane to Russia. I kind of a homeless wandered around. Literally homeless wandered around 
in Warsaw trying to find solution to this took the bus and then literally walked toward the cross crossing toward the border Bialystok between Poland and Belarus where I was already hijacked during MK Ultra, traffic during MK Ultra, and even instructed to just grab the fucking bag, throw one over the military fence, and jump the fucking fence, imagine this stuff, and escape to the Belarus. Could you imagine I almost did it? I almost have done it. You don't know about my life. <laughs> my life is not what you see this fucking semaphore lights right there and stuff it is this is about something completely different which slovenian police novel method with the psychiatrist they tried to see literally through the construction and the local road uh, see they try to depict the whole thing is it didn't work out I filed for political asylum in Ukraine in 2017. They make things difficult. And even more than they make things difficult, they were involved with the Slovenian psychiatry. They make things impossible. Making me literally board the plane for Belarus. And I did. And I ended inside of the Belarus where even I filed for the political asylum. That's a disgrace for the Brussels, for the Washington, D.C. Something really disgusting, but something very, very, very serious to consider about. This is my life. This is a traffic stops, the signs and so on right there. This is the fucking madness. It didn't work. I returned from the Belarus. And I had to escape Slovenian police yet again. Um, in 2017, I also spent time, 2018, also I spent time in a Hungary. Um... It's where I initially uh, went with idea to file for political asylum. Just to be told by Hungarian authorities that I don't have the right to file for political asylum because I'm from Slovenia and Slovenia was a European Union member state. Man, this shit is too hectic to even horrific experiences that I had to discuss in any way. Yes, as a European Union citizen, you don't have the right to file for political asylum in another European Union member state. But even worse fact is that you don't have the right to get the job. You can go and you can apply. When you are politically persecuted, you can go and you can apply as I did on as many locations as you want. Do whatever the fuck you want, but you're not going to get a job, not even for the cleaner for any kind of job. That's a little bit more horrific, and this is the truth about the European Union. Treachery, treason, whatever you want to call this. Or maybe just the way, maybe the way of life, I don't know. For me, this stuff was all new. I didn't know nothing about American democracy. I didn't know nothing about the Western values, as they call them. I grew up in Yugoslavia, that was a socialist, communist state. It was a totally different world. Not much better, not any different, absolutely no different than European Union. I'm not going to say it was worse, I'm not going to say it was better, it was exactly the same because it was exactly the same people who coordinated the crime against extermination procedure against me in also what became European Union and even United States of America. As I stated, 
in Sitio de Novo Mesto is where Illuminatis had a background talks about the new, it's some people call this a new world order. This is a real account. This I am a ground zero. They, they refer to me as a ground zero. Eye of the storm also. I am the one around whom this stuff went on. Yeah, but this is the reality. This is the reality. This is a, this is a reality about what went on. To which British even refer to as that they told this to the people, but the people wouldn't believe them. And because the people wouldn't believe them, I had to prove it. No, this is beyond insane reality. But it's a reality. In 2017, 2018 actually, I had to run for my life again from Slovenia. The psychiatry chased me again. This time to Slovakia through the Hungary with nothing more maybe than I don't know how much I had 20 euros with me in the pocket which Hungarian rail took away from me anyways as soon as I boarded one. I slept homeless out there on a under the sky till I have through the Slovakian immigration system where I was treated like somebody from the third world immigrant without having ability the rights of any kind as a European Union citizen demanded for me to stay in um, quarantena uh, I don't know how you say that in English quarantine maybe uh, locked inside of like jail or like facility asylum facility in Slovakia they demanded for me I don't know how long I would have to stay there and it's also where MK Ultra went on, torture went on inside of that facility, big time, promising me that it's going to be psychiatry, they're going to get me before, and all kinds of stuff like this. But I left, like the second day from that shithole, Slovakian, after I spent homeless walking, loaded with the luggage, throughout entire Bratislava, traveling to uh, on the other side of Slovakia where they sent me and finally I, I just went hitchhiking to Poland where I filed the political asylum. No, no, this is not a traffic, local traffic scam brainwash that Slovenian police try to depict this case as. This, my life is about something else, not about the local fucking tra traffic stop. Those are things to consider when it comes to what I'm trying to describe to you, trying to give you an idea that I am not into the fucking... stuff that is like signs about stuff that you see right that you're about to see let me see here this is where I went for a walk and you can see this here um, well actually you can see that stuff right there um, in a little bit I'm gonna discuss that stuff there is a closure a pedestrian walk closure on the other side of the road that is posted do you see it which to me it's not even evident why the fuck that will be because that should be a construction but it's done in a such a deliberately unprofessional way that you cannot even make up your mind about what the fuck goes on because I don't use the other side to go 
and this shit should have been fixed already anyways. Later, it becomes evident, as you're about to see, that there is actually even a gravel that's left on the other side of the road that did not fix with the asphalt. Should have been one of the things. It really does not interfere anymore with the cars, uh, with the car traffic, but it sure does with the bikers, with the bicycles and with the pedestrians. And they still did not fix that stuff, man. For I don't know how long. Deliberately so, too. But yes, I was told that from their book, uh, they're going to make sure they checked everything. They absolutely, how long would it take, according to, I don't know, international standards to fix this, uh, so it would be considered as normal, and so on. Uh, they even check this here. They even check this stuff here. Let me demonstrate to you. If you pay attention to this stuff here, and you're going to see that. Let's go to the beginning of this video. When you come to this sign here, there is like 20 meters before another sign appears. So they posted a sign, and then there is nothing behind that sign that would suggest, you know, it really should be written right there. It should be written. There is a road closure. Attention. There is a road closure. Yes, according to the laws. Yes. Uh, you, Slovenian side, might actually argue with me, police, that maybe the Slovenian traffic, maybe the, the Ministry of Interior... Yeah, Maybe so you want to argue with me. I know you did your homework. I know. I know you. You. I know you absolutely checked your homework, and you even you even have spoken to international people about the traffic rules and regulations. But I'm going to tell you right now that this is in a, in a, inadequate. The people that you have spoken from European Union that were involved in this stuff, did not tell you this correctly. The truth is, that is not true. This is not properly uh, regulated road closure for the pedestrians, for the sidewalkers. Do you know why? Do you know why this is not properly regulated? Because, yes, I am a driver. I have a driving license. I have... CE driving license, it's a CDL, professional CDL truck driving license. But most of the pedestrians don't have any kind of driving license. Go and see. Go and see the percentage wise of the people that walk. Whether they have the driver license or not. You're talking about the old ladies, children and so on. They don't fucking know your fucking signs out there. This is improperly done road closure, even from the perspective, from the point of view of pedestrians. This road closure is properly, somewhat properly done, only from one side of the road, and it's not even from that side of the road. If you would ask me for advice, and I did told you this is not proper, look, there is at least, they told me, like, 20 meter is going to be, so I'm going to say 20 meter. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's more, but I say 20 meter. This is not a proper uh, uh, sidewalk closure. Yes? The proper sidewalk closure would be if you would put the sign where it would be written. Attention. Sidewalk closed due to... Uh, work due to repair, due to um, work, yeah, you understand me. Um, in the United States, you do have everywhere you have a stuff like this. Unless it's something that is, I don't know. But what they do is they usually put the sign so that people can read. Some of the old lady that comes there. Well, this is a local traffic, you know what I mean? It's a local traffic and people know it. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
uh, but look how this stuff is done when you're gonna go through the video you're gonna see that for the most of the road the road is completely usable the sidewalk I'm trying to say um, as to there is no such thing like a mobile semaphore that, mm -hmm. that people would go and they would click and you know so that you can move that sign into another one I understand that and there is no there is no there is no crosswalk anywhere I understand all that stuff I get it still the way you did this stuff and I know I know I know I was told during MK Ultra that it's properly done that the sign that you see right there in the distance and we had arguments about this stuff already during MK Ultra as I insisted that sign right there in the distance should have been should have been should have been placed here so the people would pay attention that closely here people should pay attention to that the road is closed and so on uh, well when you get excited when you get angry when you subjected to MK Ultra issue you're really not paying attention to uh, what's going on out there what's laying out there in the distance and frankly uh, you are paying attention to I shouldn't be saying this stuff it all depends on the situation uh, for me personally I was not interested in seeing what is out there in the distance on this picture was I was interested in in an in initial scam with the light for which they even used the lady as I explained in continuation to stop the car after the road closure would be already uh, complete uh, and the cars the car traffic was released um, she she due to this signalization here that you see went ahead and she stopped the car with literally having me inside of the car not on one occasion but on several occasions not only having me inside of the car but director of Nova Mesto Police Ogulin psychiatrist cop who started to alternate during MK Ultra to the use of MK Ultra uh, a road regulations basically a traffic regulations insisted me during MK Ultra that I'm to stop and I did not understand inside of the car why the fuck would I stop when I was looking at this stuff and they say hey look there is a red sign on the other side of the road and I said this strange motherfucker the sign was on the other side of the road when they were explaining to me this stuff under MK Ultra demanding for me to sign to stop the car so I still did not understand so I said well why, why would I stop here but you know what man when you go when you go to to do the license examination and you have the inspector that is inspecting you uh, and or you have uh, a driver teacher uh, instructor that is you know your teacher uh, before you go to actual to do your actual examination do you remember the attitude those people have well, that's the kind of attitude these people have used during MK Ultra to brainwash me on completely wrong uh, road rules. You know what I mean? How the fuck you go and you do the stuff like this to somebody? How the fuck you dare you do that stuff? Well, you know, people in the United States of America, especially, uh, but also here in Europe, you find them all the time driving in the wrong direction of the road you heard about how people drive in the wrong direction of the road well this is the stuff basically i'm talking about this is the kind of stuff we are talking about basically altering basically reality to the people about about a traffic regulations roads uh filling the space for what should be otherwise uh, awareness about what goes on around you traffic and so on with a stuff that you should never ever uh, mind bugger yourself with so do you think these people are dangerous or you think that these people are not dangerous 
and you think that uh, is it worthy for me to stop take a note of it point out about what the what the fuck went on it was not only about the right turn it was also about other issues or not do you think this video actually makes the difference for you in your life or it doesn't i think it does because it doesn't matter even if you're not a mk ultra subject but you will find yourself in a terrible car crash and smash with somebody that's going to be driving on your autobahn on your highway uh which is let's just say it's a one-way highway and he's going to be coming from the opposite direction on your, your fucking highway and he's going to be smashing you at a full speed if if not now it might be your daughter or your son or your relative or your friend it will make a difference when you get a bad news knocking on your doorsteps it should it should matter to you this is what i'm trying this is what this is the point this is why i'm doing this this is why i'm trying to make the point out of this and you know what since the slovenian police try to be so smart with this signs here uh this is this is known as a shmarieshka actually shmarieshka cesta which turns into the sidlova cesta okay uh the area which i demonstrated you right now is uh, this area here this area here and since slovenian police is such a smart acting so smart with this stuff uh i'm gonna explain to you one thing it's basically it's like this this is how the re the regulations really are um uh, there are no sidewalks here as you continue toward this um stairs here where you see they posted that sign you know that's what it's like during the daytime this this is the stairs and it's a road right there that goes you see you see it there is no there is no there is no si uh, there is no crosswalking here anyway there is no crosswalk here anyway the only crosswalk that we have there are actually two crosswalks one crosswalk helps me to this road up here that goes up there somewhere and then there is another and that's the only sidewalk in the area here which is this one here you see the thing is that if i was not in the no if i am from the novel master right I, let's say that i'm a local person here and i was in another country whatever germany united states whatever uh, croatia whatever and I would, the point here is, let's say that I was not here for the last six months. And I come back and I return with a bus, not too far from there. There is a bus station and also train stations that you have. And I take my luggage and I'm heading home. Yeah, it is true. Usually you would be using this side of the road yeah that's true yeah to get to the area past this uh, mostly just like myself passengers would use the opposite side of the road but okay let's just say that i am and it's actually it's equivalent i am using now this side of the road here yeah i'm not going on the other side of the road so what i do is I come from the city, I go through the sidewalk and I continue home in this direction here. And then I see this sign here. And behind the sign I see perfectly okay asphalt also. Well, the thing is that from this perspective here, I don't even know what the fuck happened. Mm. Uh, when I look at it, it makes absolutely no sense to me and i wonder why the fuck is the road closed here what is this shit? And then when i look there there is uh 20 meters in a distance there is another little sign right there um 
yeah that, that should be already a sign that i do have to go on the other side of the road uh that's true or through there is no sidewalk uh, actually crosswalk anywhere here so but so what the fuck is the matter with you i mean from the perspective of the traffic regulations i mean you don't think that you need to put the sign here uh road construction or sidewalk construction ahead you don't think that you need to put three letters three three words uh a sign that would indicate there is there is a sidewalk construction ahead attention sidewalk construction ahead I mean, let me explain to you something. The sign itself, the way you posted the sign already is completely incorrect. Why? Because it's facing this here. It's facing that area right there. It's facing the drivers. Are you expecting the drivers to go on a fucking sidewalk? Or what the fuck do you expect? Or you're dealing with the pedestrians on the sidewalk? Who are you? The, who exactly are you dealing with? So if you're you're gonna be so smart about it, that you are so smart, you wanna be so technical about it. Not even the sign the way you did, because it was not straight. It was not under ninety degrees. Not even that stuff indicated. From my point of view, from being brainwashed on the issue that I mentioned earlier, not even from that point of view you have satisfied regulations, traffic re regulations, it should, it should be the case. You failed. Not to mention that most of the pedestrians do not possess driving license and do not know the fucking traffic signs. That old lady that walks through here that have never ridden anything other than bicycle doesn't know anything about what the fuck is this. You put the sign like this she doesn't know what the hell is this stuff here let's say that she comes from somewhere and the you see this sign what do you think it's gonna happen she's gonna go right through here where there is no crosswalk you're basically forcing pedestrians to violate to violate basically the jaywalking rules when doing this stuff that's what you're not supposed to do uh, as a police officers, as a, as a traffic, as a traffic technicians, you're supposed to guide traffic as efficient as possible, so that people would avoid accidents, potential hazard on the road. Um, this here, this is this is what they were fixing this time. This here, a house where they were fixing this was involved in MK Ultra. Who was not? Everybody was involved here in MK Ultra, entire city anyways. But given that so much stuff went on here, uh yeah, you see you do have houses here. You have some apartment buildings here also on this side of the road. So this is the stuff you should consider. You should consider this kind of stuff. Local people know it. Lo local people, yeah, the the pedestrians or a, a, a bicycle uh, users or uh, you know, yeah, well, they're not supposed to ride over there. Right? They they are familiarized. They are familiarized with this stuff. Um, but somebody who is not inside of the city that is missing out uh, definitely is not familiarized with what goes on. I'm not using a sidewalk. If I would use a sidewalk, uh, it would be different. I wasn't paying attention, and this is not the point. The point is not. I'm not making. I'm not trying to make the point about this traffic rules and regulations. Even that this is wrong. I'm going to tell you straight again. It's wrong. The sign is missing. That will clearly point out. Uh, a written sign attention sidewalk construction ahead and next time when you're doing this stuff like this <laughs> for fuck's sake 
Uh, is it difficult to put the fucking asphalt on it? I mean, how long does it take you to do this? Anyways. This here used to be a bus station here at one point in time behind these buildings there was a bus station right there the main bus station right below here you have a rail station and straight through here you will have a bus station and what they refer to as a new bus station that you can actually even see from there Uh, no, it is correct. That's a bus station right there. So, no, I don't think that's that's okay. Even from your point of view, from your from your perspective, uh, basically proving me something that that you try to prove me something with the signs and so on. Uh, you did not regulate the traffic the way you should, the way you're supposed to. Yeah, the situation is also completely different as you're about to see from the other end, from the other side of the closure. You're going to see from the other side. Yeah, it's it's just it, it it's it's idiotic, really. I mean, whoever did this stuff really missing screws in his head. You're going to see a, a, a light blinking and. Uh, you're gonna see uh it's also the case should be i don't know how the fuck you get like a red light like a kind of to me i don't have a problems with this stuff but nurse yanko had a problems with this uh police had a problems with it maybe 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 intentionally to depict me as somebody who has a problems with it uh, or maybe because there are screws missing inside of their heads. Well, there is no doubt about that these people are really mentally ill, evil, satanic people. There is no doubt about it. They were looking for absolutely anything. They were, they were zapikovatise, zarivati nos, uh, pushing their nose. <laughs> I, I don't even know how how to in English to properly express myself in absolutely any shit they would found and make deal out of it. Uh, when you see people like this around you, these are the people that definitely are involved in MPR. So this is already one of the signs that you are dealing with a garbage, literally. On the other side of the closure, you're going to see bun bundle of the signs. I don't know how many signs, contrary to what you what you see on this side of the road. But you'll see one sign, and then 20 meters past, there is another sign. You're going to see a bunch of signs thrown and concentrated in one area, rather than a simply placing written road closure. <laughs> you know, road closure. Attention. Uh, sidewalk work ahead uh, enough of this bullshit if you are going to stop the car here okay let me explain something uh this is a brainwash you just don't do this kind of stuff through mk ultra basically have a person literally stop on the road as police suggested me we'll see how i'm going to to react to this kind of issue so this is repeated stuff from mk ultra i'm going to use to charge police with a traffic crime somebody else if he was subjected to mk ultra probably because of construction that went on maybe would even stop because of the police because of the construction that went on previously because of the police brainwash possibly would even stop the car here Yanis Ogolin was involved nurse Yanko
inspected even the area above like this like the stuff i'm doing right now which didn't make any fucking sense to me because what would this have to do with a bow here right there is absolutely no sidewalk anywhere and what's interesting is the way this is positioned this light the way this light is positioned it's positioned in a such a way so that you would see one once you come with a car like from this direction i'm gonna demonstrate you it's see it's not straight it's sideways it's like this and it's going right there without giving you a chance to see a hat whether you're gonna have a road closure or not so this is totally fucked up stuff in a way it's actually even correct for um sign to be on a on a you know <clears throat> not completely 90 degrees right uh but what fucking way this is according to their logic basically uh what they insisted me during mk ultra it's gotta be like this so the people from far away can see it wow man uh seriously uh, are you fucking serious so that people from far can see it it's got to be the sideways like this but which people are we talking about we're talking about the pedestrians or we're talking about the car drivers i mean yes insane According to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch's logic, uh, that's what he interpreted me also with the police. And just so that you know, I'm going to make a separate video about it. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was a smoker of marijuana. While he claimed he did not do a cocaine, yes, uh, he was a marijuana user occasional I, I don't know how you say those people that use uh, like you know occasional user of marijuana um yeah so they can it can alert from the far away like this it's the proper way <laughs> yes uh it is it is i i'm not gonna say no to that but maybe there should be some extra signs to it uh i mean would I? No, because you supposed to know the signs. You're not supposed to go there. Go tell the old lady, the old man that never had a driver license about it. Go. If you're using this place on a frequent basis, you do go to the other side at least to look at it, which is a waste of time. the sign that you see right there no i i do see one don't worry about it and this is where the hysteria broke down uh, finally they got also this the sign that you see right there that sign pop up on a picture sometimes <sighs> they had another road closure i don't know oh 2000 no, they did not have a road closure. They put the sign. They did not have a road closure there. It was just a sign they started to fuck, play with. The sign that you see right there and the sign in the background. Um, I don't know. They t it was like probably 2000 and 2016. Exactly 2016. It was Mr. Pevitz from Novo Mesto Police. He was involved in every crime. Uh, it was, don't even think about, it was like with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, don't even think about it because it's a sign, <laughs> it's a sign. You know, you're talking about the police officers here. Excuse me, you're talking at least equivalent to inspectors. Police, you're talking about the police here. You're talking about regular people giving me like... A private lessons on how to see interpretate uh, uh, so that I would not embarrass and even lose my driver license because they claim that I would have to go 
and do another driver license examination for them because of these issues. That this would be, you know, they have all kinds of versions. This would be also the test to see because of this and because of that. You will definitely have to go. I have a police officers who talk to me in like, you will definitely have to go for me to do the, another driver license test. Uh, the driver license test for the traffic regulations. Uh, listen, I do see the sign. Uh, yes, I am sure that uh, this will satisfy the requirements for the road closure. I, I, I totally, totally understand that. Uh, but you don't have the right to do stuff like this to people. You don't have the right to do the stuff like this to the people. You don't have the right to drug up the people and brainwash them and put them in, uh, claim them issues, misinterpretate laws, regulations to the degree that they lose temper. Uh, they go insane already when they see ambulance vehicle and police vehicle. You don't have the right to do that kind of stuff. You don't have the you don't have the right to greet people at the police station with a stare down like they're coming at the MA, MMA match or something like this, like at a boxing match or something like that. You don't have this kind of authorizations. The law doesn't give you the right to act so. You don't have to, you don't have the right to do that. When you start doing stuff like this, you know, people start to talk about also about the stuff the way, not only about your conduct, but also about your fucking signs. <laughs> Usually, Normally, the signs look different. It looks different than this. It doesn't look like that. Uh, it's usually written for the people. Uh, road closure and so on and so forth. Yes, I know. I know. It should be. It should be evident. It should be evident. And if you tell the old lady that if it's not going to be evident to her, she's going to be locked inside of the psychiatric hospital. I guarantee you it's going to be even more evident to the old lady that this is a, not a road, but uh, obviously because of because what what you are significating right there, it's a it's a it's a it's a work on the road sign. But on the other side that you see right there, it's for the pedestrian walk. Uh, yes, I know. I, I get it. I get it. I understand. But you don't get it. You don't understand. It's not about me. This is about you. This is about you having a whole lot of fucking attitude. Look, sidewalk closure signs. Do you see them? See what this is? What that looks like to you? See this here? Just so that you see how properly traffic signaling is done maybe you don't have the money for it but i see money wasted all the time i've never seen a city so wasteful with the money as a novel master city we have the whole fucking city destroyed when it comes to the roads we have a pet halls throughout the city with the same asphalt as the one from yugoslavia about which nothing was done to improve the road conditions so that would not deteriorate cars, mopeds, bicycles. When on the other hand, trucks of money are being wasted on bridges, uh, special kind of light fixtures, um, New Year, um, all kinds of uh, gimmicks, stuff. Something, in fact, I was told is going to be deliberately done so. That it would remind me even of Yugoslavia. And make no mistake, I'm going to record the video about it. Where with the Milan Kuchan I drove during Yugoslavia, how they evaluated me, why I hate Yugoslavia so much. And I was talking to them about the roads and so on.
in what they promised me is going to be. And believe it or not, independent Slovenian took place 34 years ago. For 34 years, they kept the same stuff. I had to have to video record the stuff so that you get to see it. About the Novo Mesto City. About the Milan Kuchen. So that you understand... Who is doing all this stuff to you? Who is doing it all? Who is causing all this stuff? This stuff was between the Milan Kucha and between the police because it was Robert Golob who did this stuff. Relate to me as a something as um, they will have him do this and they will have him do that. This is how the police referred to crime, future crime against me, to the people who engaged also, who, whom they have engaged in MK Ultra, uh, and have used them to falsely present me about who is doing it all. There is no such thing as they. I was clear on my website. I posted the sign over there in front of the Novo Mesto police station where it, stays, where it clearly states murderers, killers, assassin at work with a big attention at the top of it. I created a sign of my own. I posted it in front of the police station. This isn't about me. This is about your having problems with something else. There's some other problems that are in your heads, that you still continue to suffer from. How about work done on sidewalk? How about this? Signalization. How about this? How about this kind of stuff? How about this kind of stuff? Do you know what this is? I, I want to go to the police and I want to talk to the police officer about the signs to see if they know how the signs work. If I had a police officers from Novo Master Station right here with me and I started to interrogate them on the signs, there would be about 90% of you that would not know how to respond to my questions and would fail a simple traffic examination. You see this here? What do you see here? Where is the sign posted? What is the distance from the work where the sign is posted? What kind of sign is it? Where is the sign located? 90% of you would not pass a simple traffic test. And that involves the people that were laughing for the police station, uniformed police officers in 2016 to me. When they had me on the psychiatric leash, drugged up in front of those signs, they delivered me to fuck with me. 90% of you would not pass a simple fucking traffic signs. 90% of you scum. I know something little about the signs, you know. This is not MK Ultra. You don't get to set your own rules. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was an uh, occasional marijuana user, that I know for fact. He did joints here and there. He claimed to the people involved in MK Ultra he never did cocainum. You remember Schwarzenegger cocainum? Remember this one here? Cocainum? But I'm not so sure he did not cocaine him too. I don't believe it. Cocaine him.
unlike Schwarzenegger on the movie, because it's just a movie, I have a proof for my statements. You understand, Miss Scum? Unlike Schwarzenegger on the movie, I have the proof for my claims in respect to cocainum, marijuana. Do you understand? Example of brainwash which involved the right turn issue, which I already have discussed. And this, not too far from the intersection where you have semaphore lights. Yeah, you can see you have a semaphore lights here. This is not too far from it. That's crazy. That is totally, totally crazy. That's insane. Yannis Ogulin, ex-director of police, claimed that he's gonna see how am I gonna react to this if I'm gonna actually, what the fuck, I mean, can you imagine uh, that, we're gonna, that we're gonna see how you're gonna do if you're gonna stop. And he went on to doubt because according to him, According to me, as it appeared during MK Ultra, this type of crime obviously was done to other people because it felt like they're comparing me to other people. You cannot compare me to other people uh, unless you subject other people also to MK Ultra torture. So they must have more subjects. They, I must have been not the only subject. I must have been not the only person subjected to this type of crime. I know so also because of the sign, because he said we're going to see, he, he, he also stated, he stated we already had some people stopping on a sign, and that that's actually, I'm sorry, this was a big issue, there was a lady who was not involved in MK Ultra, and they had exactly this kind of uh, issues going on, and she went ahead and she stopped the car over there. After they removed the signs already, she went ahead, she stopped the sign over there. There was another lady, I remember, involving it. And, she, and he said, and he said, ex-director now, Mr. Police said, we're going to see how you're going to react to this. It was the police who insisted me, in fact, that I have to record the whole thing. It's worth the job. Uh, it was the police that involved the owners of this shop here. It's Motorola and the neighbors uh, into a total schizophrenia. He insisted me even that I would not even think about parking the car like where I parked it. This is the stuff that went on. Police investigators from Novo Mesto Police. This is actually worth the video recording. Because why? Because the psychiatrist cop was insane about the lights. He was crazy about the lights, this guy. Uh, this was a light freak, light lunatic. And yeah, you do have a lot of signs here, that's true. Uh, and some of which are completely already outdated, out of order because of the job which has been completed already a while ago. But the signs keep sitting there. That's true, that's true. We also have a kebab uh, blinking. That's fine. Uh, this has been already completed long, long ago. They really demanded me to video record the whole fucking thing.
I wouldn't be doing this stuff. I really wouldn't be doing this stuff if it wasn't for the police. There is no work that was done here anywhere. There was no work. The work was done over there, what you're about to see. You just have a good walk till there. And I am repeating basically the same shit that have gone during MK Ultra. I'm repeating the same thing. Even walking exactly the way they demonstrate me, I have to video record. I did not understand what the fuck went on, what exactly they were talking about. They guaranteed me that they're gonna tow me a car and stuff like that. So these are all feelings of anxiety. Police was playing with and also causing substantial amount of damage, financial damage, as it was the case with a right hand turn. That's why they wanted me to, saw, uh, to video record all this stuff. This is the stuff that was done. This here. This is what they did. And the project obviously is complete. Oh, it's not complete. The sidewalk is still not complete. That's why the sign is indicating the road closure. But what's interesting, it's a different sign that is posted on the other side of the road, as you're about to see. You see that sidewalk is not is not finished yet. Look at that. It's still gravel. It's still not completed. And what's interesting, the sign as you see from the distance is completely different. It's blinking the red light instead. And then you have various things that are right there that they are used to block the road for obvious reasons. So in a way they could present this also as an issue of a schizophrenia. Maybe this is what they wanted to establish because I would just uh, pay attention to a certain part of the issue. But uh, this psychiatrist is a dead walking man who will never see a fucking daylight from the jail once he enters one. Because you know what this is? This got nothing to do with the schizophrenia. Uh, this is an overload of crime against one. In this overload of crime against one is then used to create person rather erotic uh, without paying a close attention to detail because he's got so many, so much more important issues to deal with. And under this disguise of this stuff is what they try to rug the issue of schizophrenia this guy is a dead walking man i can tell you that and so are the police directors and people who assisted them this was in fact worth worthy of my taking time and to complete now uh, cops was actually 
uh, vivid about this shit here that you see this this crap that they loaded the 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 sidewalk with he was vivid he was like he was really really uh in his uh, in his mode he was uh brainwashing me on numerous occasions to see the picture rather than to paying a close attention to detail with a simple explanation and uh, you see this you see this so many signs you see, you see this uh, a piece on the baloney a tabletki a ringelspiel uh, literally lights which he was addicted to intimidate harass with uh, he just wanted me to see the whole thing like a circus like fucking madness in in this madness uh, i should according to his instructions see myself basically just by generalizing something that in fact deserves a very close detail to attention so yeah he just wanted me to describe hey, hey, hey you see this uh, this this things here you see these things here so they wanted me uh, the initial thing here but i can tell you uh which i already have well testified on the block that nurse yanko wanted me dead at all costs and so did others uh the whole thing was resolved at the beginning of this stuff when i pointed out how they took how even stopped the car and they took me robert golop was also involved in this slovenian prime minister robert golop this was a mega issue this was for them a mega issue a big fucking thing they were concentrating on a sidewalk issue uh gesturing me well but there is no sidewalk anywhere there is no sidewalk anywhere they would make this like a mystery like why is this sign here why is this sign here they do this stuff before they misguide you basically right but why is this sign here why is this sign here thanks to the sea issue i now also remember the owners of this motor oil shop it was just it was, uh, older father who had i think two sons i also remember this now i also remember this issue now and they were taking me first they were assuring me well there's no sidewalk here either there's no sidewalk here either stop the car literally and make me walk with them robert golop was also involved in this stuff to check this area this is milan kuchan involved in this stuff to to take me upstairs to see if there is a sign upstairs from the from the sidewalk so they wanted me basically to concentrate on this thing here in the sidewalk issue and this is how they expected me to report it's a schizophrenia it's a schizophrenia so you see this is basically how the psychiatry works and it's a beautiful video on explaining you the technology how they drive how they drive one insane and proof through the brainwash by compelling him to discredit himself uh, into that something is wrong with him so this is basically the way they operate this is this is the way functions this stuff here uh, i think he will park the car here he did have some kind of audio or something like that back then and he did the return and he parked out he had a girlfriend i remember this now now thanks to this mk ultra i remember uh the family from this uh, motor oil this was a father with the two sons from what i recall he had a two sons They were very much involved in MK Ultra, and so you know, Ringelspiel. I'm afraid it's it's coming to an end for Milan Kuchan.
just one thing that I have to record is this here. Look at it. Still, it's fucking broken. Look, you see this? Look at it. I'm going to go, once I get on the other side, I'm going to video record this stuff because this stuff too is, according to MK Ultra Brainwash, it's also very important. So there was a number of issues they have used. The same shit went on during MK Ultra. I don't know how much I am capable to video record this stuff. I don't know how much this is going to take, but they wanted me really concentrate on the lights. Robert Golop was fascinated with this stuff. He was fascinated with this stuff. Now, I am going to do what I'm not supposed to do, uh, but I'm the one catching police. I'm the one who is going after the police and this stuff just is a proof. It's a part of the proof and it just needs to be video recorded. I will go across the road uh, on a red light just like this and we'll even stop here to video record this stuff because it's a crucial evidence oh look there is ambulance vehicle right there aha uh -huh, maybe i can get it through here no i cannot uh you can only see this stuff on a red light like this Otherwise, you cannot see it. And I am not going to go home until I get the very, very clear picture about this. Which I can only do when there are no cars present on the road. Therefore, it must be broken since 2015, since 2000, no, sorry, since 2013, 2015, something like that. Do you see it? I think that's that would be valid proof. Look, look at it. I don't know if you're gonna if you see it now. Now the fucking battery is dying out too. I'm gonna change the camera to another camera. This issue of this light here was involved so much in it that they even told me they're going to send me an ambulance vehicle if they see me climbing this pole to video record this stuff here. Do you understand how much this shit was involving it? This, this specific issue. They did have, they had the fucking ambulance drivers, they had the police. They have all kinds of stuff involving this issue here alone, in this one here. But all this stuff was connected to that issue right there. This camera is useless, unfortunately. I am not capable, it doesn't make any difference. And you cannot see basically, but uh definitely what i said to you is definitely is true um maybe the only way to prove this stuff would be squeeze myself to the other side there comes a police vehicle right there there you go nice i'm gonna use them now to get this job done perfect they're parking the car they are not we're gonna find out about this issue real fast
the police vehicle uh, P10383, I think it was the police, it was the number, the license plate. Uh, it was a van combi, it's all video, it's all audio recorded anyways. They were involved in it and they did learn about uh, this type of signal issue. I'm gonna say already, a while ago. Um, you know, I would say That's a vehicle right there that departed. Um, yeah. Ah, this is maybe... Господь, просите вас упрашам, дайте мне поведу просам. Тут я видел, что это просто луч, который приход за перце, означает приход за перце, по за колесо. Видел, где на половицу тако разбито, пошкодовано. Па и сидит в белу, па ардече сидит, где старый сидит. От где имате то ствардо? Да не знаю. Не би хотел поведать, па. Адия. Адия? Не би хотел поведать, окей. Okay. No, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Involved in MK Ultra. He, the other guy, both are involved in MK Ultra. We're doing exactly MK Ultra scenario with even police who claim me, if you're going to be there for a little longer, I'm going to send you another vehicle and so on. Yeah, well, they continue to challenge. They continue to uh, they continue to uh, to lose the case, basically. Oh. You know, 2017, the two police officers that were there, uh, they do have a Steirska dialect, 2017. They both were involved in it. I remember both of them There you go. You can probably see that portion of this uh, red for the pedestrian, uh, it's still broken and it's indicating a white color. Uh, now, for me to properly finish this video, we're going to finish the video the way it's supposed to be. I got to first make sure there are no cars anywhere on the road. just like this, like right now. But the first thing what they did was they, uh, when you come with the car, you see this? You see this red light like this, you know? Now, I'm not allowed to video record with the, uh, with the camera while, you know, driving, you know, so, As I approach toward this thing, this is the first hypnotism, basically, MKUltra manipulation they did. 
they incited against this red light on a distance. Why is it? And it's, you know, presented this like in a wicked way. Uh, and it's done exactly like this. It's done exactly uh, to make you think, in other words, to fool you. Uh, you see it? As I approach, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make any difference. Even if I would be on the road, you would see the same thing, basically, except that you are in the car. You see? You see it? Uh, I've, this is how it all started. I described the lady, all that stuff, about how it went on with the director, Ogulin, who demanded from me to see, uh, to, to expose myself basically on how he will be washing me or how I will react and this and that and how they already had people and this and that and so on who did this and that. Uh, the point here is it's just a very, very short, even the battery is dying on me. It's very short. The point here is that uh, when it was all finished of the brainwash, sometimes in 2017, something like this, again Yanko pop up here, again police pop up here, they walk me back and forth and they told me this is exactly the way it's supposed to be. They went on to interrogate me during MK Ultra and answer me the questions, make me ask why is it that even a signalization is positioned like this? And they started to prove me exactly the opposite of what they initially brainwashed with on how this is done to manipulate and stuff like this. Now they started to manipulate that this is exactly correct. This is the way it's supposed to be. It was evaluated by the traffic technicians, etc., etc. All according, not only according to the uh, to the regulations, but exemplary that this is the way it is, this is the way it's got to be done. So this is how MK Ultra perception during, under MK Ultra is manipulated. In 2000, this project was finished. Uh, the project was done again in 98. And I know so because Robert Golob was the one who kept going uh, in, on a Kolpa River in Bela Kraina in 2000. He was all over Bela Kraina in 2000. And so the people from Bela Kraina definitely know what the fuck I'm talking about. He was all over Bela Kraina between 95 and 2000. That's all there was in respect to Robert Golob, Bela Kraina. Um, I, I can't wait to do this stuff here. This is like my favorite fart that is going to be done not through the police but with the police. This is like the number one thing I'm looking forward to uh, dealing with the police. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, marijuana, joints. Uh, it was the biggest insult. Why I know this took place, for one thing, because there was the biggest insult, and I'm not going to tell you what exactly it was, just yet, that was involved in it, repeatedly was involved in it. Uh, in the secondary, it was police which already interrogated in front of me a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who claimed did not took cocaine, claimed did not smoke marijuana, etc., etc., etc. That was something they have done to assure me, uh, but of course more than to assure me, to convince me to not even try. But then again, I said to myself, why wouldn't I try when I had de facto proofs about it. Why wouldn't I try it when what I stated is a 100% fact? He didn't do much cocaine, uh, but he definitely did some joints. And uh, he did some other stuff, disgusting stuff too. I'm not gonna talk about right now. Robert Golob, <laughs> this is a cocaine number two. 
This is another crack pot from Slovenia. This is this crack pot here. This is a Slovenian prime minister. This is a libling the baby from Milan Kuchan. Trabert with uh, his name is Golob and then you have a Golobic. So see Golobic and Golob is very similar. Another crack pots. These are all crack pots. Uh, Gregor Golobic. And you had Skolj. Skolic. Uh, this one was really they already looked like a crackpot. Uh, they traveled with another crackpot. That's uh, Tonya Foyon. This one here. This baby here. Uh, she got married to this German guy by the name Ulrich Braun. Uh, to to cover up all the traces as much as possible reality to alter reality as much as possible the the associate itself with reality as much as possible this is a Milan Kuchan baby this is a daughter from Milan Kuchan that's how she was known under MK Ultra as a daughter is a baby from Milan Kuchan um, it's called a Colpa River. Colpa River, Colpa. Colpa River. Azerma Reca Colpa. And this is located in southern part of Slovenia. Right on the border with the Croatia. And you have a people coming here swimming. And it was indifferent with the Ljubljana cream. Uh, they became crazy, crazy. More than about Kirka River, they became crazy beginning the 1988. The babies from Ljubljana traveled to Kolpa River. This is a Kolpa, we're gonna Kolpa swimming. Uh, the epicenter of the Kolpa, Ljubljana Kolpa. Uh, that, let me demonstrate to you. Uh, do it like this. Ljubljana. Pravec Lude Bulana. Alpa Bulana. Must be some true in it. And so, let's say Vinica. This is right next to Kolpa River. Oh, if I click Vinica, you will see. Okay. Um, that's a hundred and ten kilometer. It depends what route you take. Uh, and so they became addicted, addicted. Their route always was well, at least always. It was a lot through Novo Mesto, a whole lot. Um, Novo Mesto route. Uh, the epicenter of this took place in 1993. This is when it was a lot of, a lot of alcoholium. It's called alcoholium. A lot of alco alcohol, uh, drinking, smoking, drinking. I bet marijuana found its place there too. All through, I don't have the proof for what I stated right now, they were using marijuana. I cannot say that. Um, marijuana in Yugoslavia, how can I explain to you something? Um, for me personally, I was a sports oriented guy. You know, I wanted to be the best of the best in sports. And so for me, not in sports, but in life, I wanted to really exceed in life. So for me, there was no alcohol, no coffee, no smoking. It was out of, out of the picture for my lifetime. I would not touch cigarettes or alcohol. Something about marijuana or something, it's totally out of question, yes. Um, but 
epicenter of the traveling from the mentioned people to Bela Krajina reached year 1993-1992. They were all over the Bela Krajina. 92-93 there was this like obsession with it. Like every fucking weekend, like almost. Yeah, entire summer. Entire summer, definitely. Uh, but it started, this stuff started in 1988. And, you know, uh, it was okay. I They would take me with me. Um, I didn't mind to go. They had some good babes with them and stuff. Um, Tanya Fayon also and so on. This was a catch. Uh, and um, that's how they they uh, they got me into this during MK Ultra. That's why I know about it. I never would have mentioned any of it. Um, but you know, in this case, I had to. The first thing that I have to say is that in Bela Krajina. Uh, that was repeatedly, I think, in Primostik. They would go to Primostik. They would put the tents themselves down and so on. And uh, it was nothing friendly about it. You know, it all depended on who and this and that. Uh, probably this guy, Golovich. This guy, Golovich. Golovich was probably even the most tolerant with me and in Bela Krajina he changed <laughs> he changed a whole a lot uh, they started to they started to get quite violent once they finished their degrees they got their universities done uh, it was like they changed profoundly uh, I wouldn't say that they became serious about life and this and that but you know, they, they didn't mind to push me and be shovel me and stuff like in a violent way. Somebody who was drugged up and he just wanted to hang around there. Uh, normally, I definitely didn't want to be anywhere around them. I was hijacked on each occasion. Every fucking occasion was a hijacking. But if you're hijacked, you, you just prefer to... To spend time as much as with as little stress as possible, uh, and maybe maybe even some more, whatever. I mentioned their babes and so on, uh, but you know it it turned out to be really sour relationship with what became Golop finally in 2000. Uh, I told you about the construction they did. A major construction was done. It was like in 98. They were doing this major construction. I, I'm not supposed to know this people. Because I was in United States of America. I left the US in 95. And I was nowhere in Europe till the August of 2006. That's 11 and a half years. I was nowhere, absolutely nowhere in Europe. You shouldn't see me anywhere in Europe. Between 95 and 2006, you shouldn't fucking see me anywhere in Europe. And I don't know what it was. They were also doing some kind of road or whatever. I don't know what it was, what, what exactly they were fixing, what exactly they were doing. Uh, but I remember Robert Golob, it was some closure here, and he was walking here and this and there. And I also remember he was making arrangements with the police. He was returning from the Kolpa River. Uh, they were talking to me about even where they're not, they, they are coming through here only because of me. Very long time. Because there was no way to get to the uh, to the uh, autobahn from this direction. So the, the autobahn, I don't know. Autobahn came to life probably, I don't know. I don't know when did they make the, as we say, preclucic. 
to the autobahn uh, on the other side of the city where I am located at. Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's another stuff I have to think about. It. <laughs> all these issues, but those are all the topics, you know. Um, here, it, 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 this was fucking unheard of. The stuff that went on all of a sudden here in '98, beginning the '98, it was a heavy torture here. Crazy. In '99 here, it took off insane. Everybody here was involved. Every fucking house you see here, entire hill behind very very much all these people here everything everything the friends we had here uh they moved out of here they sold house uh they moved out of here oblak moved out of here there used to be a store mercator here in yugoslavia there used to be a store known as a mercator uh and as soon as yugoslavia fall apart they crashed this store down uh, maybe even two years earlier and Mercator store was gone it, there was enormous Mount Everest of torture inside of this Mercator store this fucking it's called a public lynching literally inside of the store yes uh, a lot of Serbs here they were coming here they had complete control with the police of all this area here and I don't, I don't know how much discount you get but you get to keep the job if you engage in torture against me and if you're lucky you got a job promotion or whatever that's how cheap this shit was uh but these people here were actually back in the day even nice with me well once the the 98 came no more nice man they demanded they demanded them everybody here to uh they even became these people here, uh, the owners of this store, which were like, the father was especially very close to me. Uh, very, very long time involved in it. Uh, all of a sudden, as the years progressed by, that these people, I had to testify, them uh, having conversation with the police, with police, assuring me using them that if i would even park the car here the car would be towed and so on i mean the hostility the the um madness rage impossible to actually describe the stuff that went on uh, this, this is the stuff that was that was led by Psychiatrist, psychiatr, Peter Kapsch. This was guy who embraced violence as nobody I would know of. Uh, individual that, thanks to this video, uh, the last thing I'm going to do with him it's going to be a really, really ugly one. I mentioned it already in the video. Uh, he did some really, really disgusting stuff. And this is how his career before he's going to head to the jail is going to end. It's going to be really, really ugly. Really, really ugly. This individual... Uh, also, Peter Kapsch, I think his name is, was involved in it. Also, he's a physician. Now, who is this guy here? They had another one. This is also, this is also Peter Kapsch, but this is not the same person. Okay. This is a psychiatrist, is this one here. The other guy, however, knew him. He knew about my case. They all knew about these things. When I would be recording during the recording of this video, I'm not supposed to, as I was told. Don't even think even about leaving the car right there. 
I mean, don't even leave the fucking car there. They must have involved some... During the course of this crime, they must have involved... Just for this crime's sake here, some 200 at least eyewitnesses. People that randomly they will walk and observe, they would already know me. And learn to find out about it. Uh, during this... Um, during recording of this, um, during uh, during this crime itself, it became evident they were also using uh, technicians, uh, the semaphore light technicians. I also now record they had a people, and I am not sure. Uh, there is a, a little problem with it because um, one of the police officers uh, you have seen right there have stopped uh, was from Tselje. Uh, this is a blonde guy um, who also imported uh, the girlfriend from what he told me from Tselje. Um, and so, therefore, I am not very sure whether it was the light repair guy who was repairing the lights, the serviceman, uh, if he also was not from Steirska, from Celia, something like this, a technician. I think he was even from Celia, something like this. Um, meaning that he was doing the light, the semaphore light, which is a cracked. It's a cracked with the missing pieces of plastic even. Uh, red light signaling uh, with therefore a possibility that such stuff uh, might have been done only during MK Ultra for manipulation purposes beginning 2008. 13. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? That's exactly what the fuck I am saying. Now, there is more to this stuff here. There is much, much, much more to this stuff here. Uh, the police officers that you have seen, uh, that's a category for itself. That's a totally different category for itself. Um, one of the police officers... At first, when he moved to the Novomast city, you know, uh, he was like really, really, really young. Uh, the way it started with the two police officers, okay, I think it deserves a little more attention to this stuff here. With the blonde police officer, the way it all started is... Um, it started at some apartment building in Celia where it appeared to me that uh, he was just a son from the single mother and the mother was the one who was blonde a very pretty mom um, I don't know about the father I've not seen one which uh, basically the mom looked so good uh, the chances are that I didn't want to see father or whatever. Uh, the thing is that he was a little bit chubby when he was younger, opposed to what I have seen him in person here in the novel mess at the van. He was really, um, yeah, you know, like a normally uh, much, much less um, chubby than what it used to be okay so you know uh let's just say that he is uh six foot tall and let's just say that in comparison terms although i don't know how old even he was back then because he must have been a really 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 young kid when he first met me uh it would look like something when like a 90 kilo kid six foot tall and he is now about, let's say, somewhere at around like 80 kilos 
uh, 75 to 80 kilos, I would say, six foot tall terms. I don't really know how tall he is. I don't know how heavy he is. But he was a little chubbier when he was younger. You know what I mean? Um, the first time in the Nova Master City, uh, I have seen this kid when he was... This is the thing. I don't know how old he is. But I think he was really, really young. Uh, before I even go to that issue, Robert Golob was the first one who started to instigate on how they are also going to involve... They, they, it was a play between psychiatrist Kopsch and Robert Golob. With psychiatrist Kopsch... Uh, Pretending like he is creating me a police force that will be siding with me against Milan Kuchan. This is the way it operated, you know. Uh, all of a sudden, it started with some kind of secrecy and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, I looked at that stuff. And the first thing that I remember, psychiatrist Kopsch, was... Uh, it would be like the first thing that I remember this kid when he was really young this kid, this kid was addicted to Milan Kuchan from Celia a semi blonde kid <laughs> that's one thing that much for the supporters a secret police force that would uh, side with me against Milan Kuchan just, just that much about this band that you have seen came on the scene. Uh, the kid back then must have been maybe even 14 years old. He was totally against absolutely to have anything to do with me until he was very very properly explained about how this is going to be. And he must have been a kid when he was 14 years old. How long ago was this? Probably I don't know. Um, I, I don't even know. Maybe 2008. I have no idea. In Celia. In Celia City, that's also very far from here in terms of Slovenian roads. Um, then the next thing you see is, I don't know, they explained to him something, then he agreed to it, to be in this. Uh, then the next thing you see is, uh, he popped up in this place here, it's called Plava Laguna here. And it was with his uh, girlfriend, something like that. Um, and I don't know what the fuck went on here in this place. Uh, I would see him and I would not see him. So I don't even know if he lived here or he did not live here. And the next thing, however, what I, re what I recall, what I remember is, is what appeared to me that he found himself uh, in some maybe housing that it looked like to me a bow here somewhere in some house or something like that he posed uh with his girlfriend uh, or wife uh, and a dog uh, like how he returned from the job and is taking a dog out for a walk and supposedly his girlfriend was actually from Celia. i don't know how realistic is that uh that much about that stuff uh robert Golop something that I failed to mention earlier and I wanted to explain now uh, he, he, he created a conspiracy out of this blonde kid by suggesting me that um, yeah this, this went on around exactly 2010 way back in time like that he learned that I have a secret supporters who will side with me against Milan Kuchan and so on. And you talk about 2010 and I think this kid was like really, really too young to do any kind of conspiracy against any politician. This is rather makes you laugh. Uh, and so Robert Golov stated to me that they will do something to me that I would not know uh, 
that I will not side with my supporters no matter what. That's what Robert Golob claimed me. That they're going to do something to me uh, that for sure that I would not know uh, whether they are real supporters of mine or not. This is how it was. That year goes 2010. So, um, yeah. I mean, what can I say? For the other police officer, as I was explained, uh, he would absolutely definitely side with me. He's definitely my supporter. Uh, as long as long as I wouldn't do something stupid about it. And I should recall certain things about him, whatever. Uh, the thing is, I did not because I was just... How can I say? I didn't I didn't pay attention to that stuff enough that I would that I would concentrate myself into that stuff. But the two did a repeated MK Ultra here in this in front of this uh in front of this kebab shop here who also was involved in it. They these people saw everything. Um these are nice people. And He stated me that if I would not identify him here in this place here, uh, it would hurt me later on. And I don't know, I don't know what he meant by this, but this is MK Ultra procedure, and obviously that this guy is going to be involved again. I don't know why, but uh, I should identify him because of some other issues that would also pertain. Uh, yeah, the, he also was my supporter, and uh, it concerns his relative, relative, that something happened to him, and he got to do with the Milan Kuchin, and so that these are my secret supporters, and so on. Um, I told you already that mk ultra the way they do it they make the way they make the leads is that they make sure that the people that would really support me are the people they get rid of the first those are the first to fly and the only thing the only one who stays on the on the on the podium these are the people that are totally controllable by the government they're either totally controllable by the government uh and most of them they would trace straight to Milan Kuchan, like from his school, like totally Belgrade, Moscow, and so on. And that's how they wanted to prove this case of MK Ultra that would come out. Uh, and uh, I don't know, uh, if not kill me, disable me. Uh, and basically, I don't know, maybe push me around with a wheelchair while giving the public their own ideas after I would proclaim them as my witnesses. So this is a very, very fine, profane way of extermination procedure uh, through Mount Everest of people involved in it and then turning it extermination procedure genocide completely in your favor. That's the political MKUltra. That's basically exactly the way it works. Like about every other issue, swines negotiated also this case behind the curtain with one another i'm talking about the china united states russia germany france italy etc etc britain especially that's how it works india and so on that's how they do it like with every fucking other issue you become nothing you are now worded less than absolutely anyone in the world that's the mk ultra that's how it operates Congratulations.